Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining me. Today I'll be featuring two gorgeous new 6 inch ribbon. There are so many houses now that have 10 and 12 foot ceilings and huge front doors that this 6 inch ribbon has really become quite popular. The wreath that you see here is a 42 inch wreath and of course you'll need a bigger uh, ribbon for that, the little 4 inch and 2 inch ribbon really wouldn't work so the 6 inch ribbon will be just perfect. These are now my two absolute newest favorite ribbon in the world. I love these two ribbon. The one on the right is called Ice and it's by Reliant Ribbon. The other on the left is called Mira Mira and it is by Ferris Silk. If you're interested in either of these two ribbon, please give me a call. Um, I will be making the bow in the video using the Mira Mira. So please watch and enjoy along with me. For this very large bow and using six inch ribbon, I will be featuring our new latest board. This is Pro Bow Deluxe. Now it goes up to row H. The large Pro Bow goes up to row E. So this one has added three new rows. We've added all the lines because this is so many holes that you can visually keep track of what row you're working on. Uh, so that's just a wonderful new feature um, with this new hand. Um, our bow recipe will be Pro Bow Deluxe. Center finger is on row D. Fingers two, three, four, and five are row are on row F, right and left. And just because I like to have that little tail just a little bit longer, I'm going to make the last loop on row G. So that is your bow recipe. And here we go. So let's begin. I'm sure you've seen some of my other videos and so this is exactly the same. We're just working with bigger product and you'll see using Probo the hand just how easy it is to be able to use this uh, really big ribbon. I don't know whenever I had my store if I would have been able to use ribbon this big and be able to hold all of this in my hand. So here we go. Always approach, uh, pinch a half inch from the end, approach from the back, go around um, two or three times. And this is 26 gauge wire, but, but because this is such a, a bigger bow, what I did is I just kind of wound my wire together. So you can either use a bigger wire or, or just do that. So here we go. Uh, approaching the uh, board from the back, Go around center finger, pinch, don't go all the way down to the bottom, that will make you bow very lopsided. What you want to do is go up uh, the base finger half of the distance of the ribbon that you're using so that looks just about right. Now going from around the back, we're going to pull our wire up and just wrap this very tightly. This is securing the ribbon to the hand and getting this piece of wire out of your way for now. You want to leave just a little tip so you'll see at the end you'll be able to get that wire off very quickly. So now switch hands and see the nail. You're going to go around that nail just once. That's enough. You want to just get that wire out of your way for now. And I just kind of stick that under the board I'll just stick that right there and just kind of get that out of my way for now. I'll leave just a little loop so I can come back and get that very quickly at the end. So now, our center loop is made and that's all there is to it. And you'll see this just fabulous ribbon. It looks so soft and looks luxurious. But it just, now look how it's doing this, just standing up on its own. So it just holds its shape and uh, it's just fabulous ribbon. Now you'll see whenever I pinch, also, you'll see just how extraordinarily, how extraordinary easy that was so that we can do our bottoms up movement, twist, always twisting. We know it's all about the twist in bow making. And now I'm going to approach 
my first finger, go around the top, pull down snugly. Uh, that half twist always starts on this side and you can really see it now using a six, six inch ribbon. Um, but if you do that bottoms up movement, put your hand here, pinch right to it. Look how just beautifully that ribbon reacts and just twist. Then go to your, your finger on the, on the left, pull down snugly. And because we've done that bottoms up movement, um, your hand to spool ribbon never gets all twisted up. In using this, the spool holder is almost one of the most important things because your uh, spool is held right there, very compact, very compact work area, and your spools aren't rolling all over the floor and you're wasting all that time untwisting your ribbon. So the spool holder is extremely important. So here we go. Pin, twist, do that bottoms up movement. Just pull a little off, you want to keep that ribbon on that spool just as long as possible. Go around that finger, pull down snugly, and that's all there is to it. There's that little half twist that starts on the right. We're gonna pull some ribbon off. Now we're gonna go over to the left. Get that little pink out. Pull down snugly, and that's all there is to it. How easy is that? Pinch, twist. Over the finger. I'm gonna keep that nice and smooth. Look how beautifully this ribbon just compacts and uh, just makes, it just opens so beautifully. But then the loop itself just stays open and it just holds its shape. This is just, I just can't say enough about how much I love this ribbon. So pinch. It's all just about pinching and twisting. It's a back and forth movement and that's all there is to it. If a customer would come in right now, I could just stop. Like I say, if the baby cries or the customer comes in, that's if you're working from home or if you're working from your shop. Um, Provo the Hand is holding all of your work for you. You can just stop at any time. No more drop bows. Provo is holding your work for you and no cramped hands. So, and you can see just how extraordinary easy that this is. Pull some around. Pinch, twist. Go over that last finger. Like I said, whenever I used to have my Christmas store, I just don't know if I could even have held this much ribbon um, in my hand. And if I could, my hand certainly would be hurting. And then we always want to finish with that twist at the end because you want your tails facing upward. Come back now. That's why we left that little tip. Come back and, and unwind that. I, I put kind of a lot of wire there. Didn't need to put quite that much. Pull down. Now I'm going to come back and pop that off the nail and twist very tightly. And that is all there is to it. How easy was that? Now you just lift and there's your perfectly made bow. Now a good idea you might want to consider, like in August whenever um, you're just preparing for Christmas, you can make up a lot of bows and then you can just fold them up. You can lay them in a box and then whenever you need them at Christmas when everything is so hectic, you can just pull them out and they're ready to open and that's what I'll be showing you next is uh, we'll be fluffing our bow. Now as you can see here I cut my tail I cut it with a V in the end and because I'll, I like my tails to be a different length to get my second tail I just cut a piece of ribbon I cut it longer than the first one and then I just wired it to the back of the bow. 
And so that's how I get my second tail. And now we'll fluff. Now, if you've seen some of my other videos, you know that I love to open my bows on this wooden box. It's just a box of sand. I don't like things moving around on me. And so it's, a, it's very heavy. This is a cup hook, uh, or an eye hook rather, and I just cut the tip off. I will take, and I have a little nail right there. So I will slide my wire right under, right under that and then I come over to my little nail and I just secure it down and that's just how I like to um, open my bows so you might consider that yourself. I've had a lot of people who've asked me about the box. So anyway here we go. That's our first, that's our small little center loop and then I just will take my hands here, go to the base of my bow and just start opening and just placing my uh, loops where I would like them. So I put the smallest one up, then the next one down and you can see how I just kind of manhandled that, that ribbon there, but it doesn't crease. It's just uh, beautiful. I just can't, I just really can't say enough about this ribbon. And so the next one, I just kind of put it up a little bit. The last one, I always put facing downward and then just kind of stack these. You can kind of play with this bow and just place them how you like but this is just kind of how I do it. But this is a very popular bow. You see this a lot and uh, I love it also. And this is just kind of how I place my loops, but you can certainly play on all these different designers. They all have their different ways of doing things. But anyway, you can see how just extraordinarily easy that was. And uh, you can just do that in moments. And now I'm gonna flip it around and I'm going to fluff the other side. Now, I like mine with my loops just about in the same position. So there, that's my smallest loop. So I'll match that one. Can you believe just how easy this is and how fabulous this ribbon is? It's absolutely just as pretty on the back side as it is the front. So whenever you're seeing your bow, you're catching the, the red from the outside and the gold in the inside, and it's just extraordinary. So here we go. I'm gonna place this here, and I'm just gonna pull this down here. Here we go. And just open that up. And how easy was that. Now let me get it off the box and I'll hold it up in just a second. So there we are. The bow is all fluffed. It's so big it's kind of hard for me to show it to you like this. You'll have to just refer to the picture uh, of it on the wreath that we started with. But anyway, you can see just how beautiful you can catch the underneath. You see whenever uh, you're looking at the bow and you see the inside that gold there, just how gorgeous that is. So anyway, you see how beautiful and just how easy and simple that was. Please enjoy. Thanks.